Hello everyone, welcome back. In this video, we will see module 1 getting started with Windows PowerShell. So, here there are three lessons. First, we'll see lesson 1 overview and background of Windows PowerShell. So, in this lesson, we'll see First topic Windows PowerShell overview. So, the Windows PowerShell, which is introduced in 2006, it has both CLI and uh, scripting language, and these are the commands it includes like commandlets, functions, filters, and workflows. And next we'll see the Windows PowerShell versions. So in Windows XP, it start with 2.0 and then 3.0, but which is not supported in XP, which starts support from Windows Server 2008. So 3.0, which is available with the SP2, and then 4.0, and then 5.1. Okay, next uh, Windows PowerShell versus the operating system. And then two host application. So which is a uh, console and uh, IAC, the integrated uh, scripting environment and third party hosting applications editor. And then working in mixed version environments. So you can use PS version table command to determine the version of Windows PowerShell that you are running on your system. And then precautions when opening Windows PowerShell. So there will be 64-bit and 32-bit version of Windows PowerShell. So if you are opening 32-bit, um, then you will see x86 icon on the Windows PowerShell. So if you are opening the Windows PowerShell as an administrator, then ensure that uh, the Windows title bar displays administrator. And then configuring the console where you can select a font size style and color and you can also set the screen size color the text is easy to read so that uh, you can differentiate between often confused characters such as this character and you can also modify the screen size to maximize available space for the output and you can also enable copy paste. So you will be seeing all these in the lab session. Demonstration configuring the console. So all these steps we will do it in the uh, lab. And configuring the ISE where it will be two panes like a script and console and you can also make it a one pan and two pan view options command add-on to display available commands and you can customize the font style size and color etc this is demonstration configuring the isc so that we will see it in the lab session Okay, then there will be a lab for this lesson configuring the Windows PowerShell. So in the lab, we will be having a uh, uh, DC one, which is domain controller, and the client one, CL one. Okay, that we will see it in a different video.
okay so that's it in this video and uh, i'll see you in the next